Ever wonder about the world if it's a good place? Well, the world has two sides. Want to guess what I'm thinking about? Yes, good and bad. Now, yeah, you see the world is full of strangers, but you're going to be walking down the street for a little walk, and the next thing you know, there could be a group of guys following you. What do you do? Some women, girls, some women and girls do not know how to protect themselves, so they end up being harmed or raped. All women are in danger, and not enough people are doing much about this cause. This has been a problem for very long. Too many people are becoming victims of rape daily. Men are using women. I am not applying this to all men, but only the ones who rape who think rape is okay. But it is not. We need to do something to decrease the amount of sexual assaults and rapes rapists that take place because these traumas have been lasting the impact of victims for so long. The reason this is such a big problem is that men are kidnapping women and taking women from ages 18 to 24 and raping and harming them. Women have died from these attacks and we have made a revolution for women's rights and we can do it again. We can choose to stay silent while more women get harmed or we can stand up and do something about it. We wish that we could say something to the whole world about how wrong this problem the two of us, but we can't. I have a very strong opinion on this topic because the savior problems with what's going into rape is why it's done. Women are dying every day because rapists think women are toys to be messed around with, but we are not. You, still, you, you might still have your own opinion on, on everything I said, but this is a real problem. Yes, I'm saying we have some pretty big holes that we need to patch up before it gets worse. We can't get mad over things because we can create more conflict. I am saying that we want to solve these problems, we want to speak up, but the thing is we don't fear any consequences. Don't fear if you might go to prison or jail, you may go to court, but at least say something. Types, uh, trying in these types of situations is really good. You want to unlock peace in the world. You don't want hatred and violence, do you? We can do better, we can try harder, and we can have something to first if we want. It isn't just a problem as you grow older. Sexual violence is a threat for children as well. The number of people attacked before the age of 16 is sickening, and only a small amount of these predators are held accountable. This is a problem that needs to be stopped, not just for now, but for the future generations of children, in hopes that they can be free to go outside and play freely, without the overriding fear of being kidnapped or taken advantage of. We need more serious jail time for offenders, and they need to see the consequences of their actions. For example, according to Rain.org, every nine minutes of child protection services substantiates ev or find evidence for a claim of se child sexual abuse. These are children who have been having their ch childhood ripped from them, and for some, they're being taken advantage of by their own family members. In fact, 34% of predators are the child's family mem members, and 59 are acquaintances. The trauma of, of assault... Um, provides challenges into adulthood as well. According to Rain, victims are about four times more likely to develop symptoms of drug abuse, about four times more likely to experience PTSD as adults, and are about five, three times as likely to experience a major depressive, depressive episode as, as adults. Sexual violence is a problem that affects children across America, and for our future's sake, we need to find a way to prevent it. They'll to pretend that this isn't a problem. They'll say, oh, she asked for it, or he should have enjoyed it. But no, that's not the point. Lives are being damaged and people are being traumatized. The amount of victim blaming is sickening and wrong. Rape and sexual assault is a worldwide problem that needs to be put to a stop. Consent is a fundamental necessity that is being ignored. It is a problem across the globe. People see it, and yet they do nothing. And the sick sickening fact is, this is an issue... This issue is even a threat to our children, who are normally not capable of giving consent. Essentially, we need this world to change. We need to change this, these social norms that make it people think that rape is okay. We need to make an, make arresting slash keeping harassers in jail a top law enforcement priority. We need to empower our women and girls, and at its core, we need to create a safe and protective environment so people feel safe to report and talk about their experiences. We have to have a we have a part to play in change, and it's our job as the younger generation to. Initiate.